another episode of Marcus fishing today we are in the wonderful state of Idaho once again I'm probably gonna be here for another week or so I'm gonna search up some areas where I can go fishing and, and all that and and try to uh, hit them up but uh today we're fishing for kokanee salmon so we're gonna try to get into some salmon and see if, if if we can land some as soon as we got here I did have something on but it uh I think a bit on this little this little tungsten but it came off, so I have high hopes. But yeah, stay tuned. And stay tuned, and let's see. Let's see if we can get ourselves into some kokanee. Just waiting for the right time. What these kokanee do is that they—they're always swimming around, always traveling. So. We just gotta get them at the right time. Bunch of kokanees, you guys. A bunch of kokanee. Oh my god. You guys. Oh my god. A bunch of kokanee. Ooh, I had a bite. Just the bite. Dang it. So many kokanees. Oh my god. There we go. There we go. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. On the very bottom. Is it a kokanee or a trout? Oh, it's a trout. Dang it. Oh. There was a bunch of kokanees with this trout. Anyways, nice trout. There was hundreds, you guys. I just didn't want to get my camera, but... Holy smokes. There was... Hundreds of companies. It was crazy. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. The whole screen was like, oh my god, I should have recorded it. There they are again. There they are again. There they are again. Oh my god. God, I missed one. Oh my God. You guys look at that. Holy smokes. Oh my God, I just missed another bite. Look at that. Oh, I, oh, I had one. All right. I'm gonna get into fishing. Come on. Kokanee. Oh, first kokanee. I'm gonna get her down there. You guys, there's thousands of kokanees down there. Oh my god. I'll show you guys the kokanee here in a bit. There's a fish. 
There's a fish. There's a fish. There we go. Oh. 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 What is it? trying to save it I lost it you bit on this on the bottom one okay. that was a beautiful fish I think it was a I think it was a cutthroat all right so I just caught like 10 fish, and they're still around. Oh. Oh. Missed the bite. Oh, there you go. Big one. Nice. Bit on the... Money cook me. So the limit per person is 15 coconuts here in this lake. And I just caught that one, Googling the uh, limit. But I have all those already. So I need one more coconut. And there's still a bunch. They're scattered. They're, it's, it's not like earlier, but. There's still some in there, but man, this lake is amazing. I am so happy with this lake. I, I could not tell you in words. So it was, it was a little slow at first, and then you would see those coconuts approaching the, the hole, and and then they would leave, and then sometimes they would stick around a little longer, and it was just intense, intense. So. And for all you people that are local uh, uh, to this to this area, to the lake, whatever, uh, just know that you guys have a wonderful lake here. I'm gonna catch my my limit. I'm gonna catch one more, and then I'm gonna call it. But man, it's been amazing. taking a bunch of coconuts home. I'm gonna do a catch and cook for you guys. Just a simple catch and cook. I'm not gonna put them on a smoker or, or anything. Or I might, I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, um, awesome day. I did lose some footage as you guys saw. When I first started catching those coconuts, that video for some reason cut off, it froze. So I'm not gonna be able to use it. I still don't post like all my, all my fish that I catch in the day. I think it's too much for a video, so I think we're. I think it's fine. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see like, like every fish that I catch on video. I can definitely do that. But uh, it was an awesome day. I'll see you guys back at the kitchen. Okay.
Alright guys, so we're back at the house here. And we're going to be making these fish tomorrow. We're going to smoke them. So what I'm going to do is open all of them up, get some fillets, and brine them overnight. And then uh, put them on the smoker tomorrow. Yep. So that's the plan. Oh my god, this knife is sharp. It, it cuts like butter. I mean, that's a good thing, but bad thing at the same time. So this is the meat, you guys. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Doesn't get any better than this. And then after you just cut the ribs. The ribs right out. All right. This is all I got to work with me. So I'm gonna use a, a couple of these. We're gonna add the cure. There we go. And we're gonna we're gonna put this in the fridge for about eight to ten hours, um, and then take it out and put it on the on the smoker. I might just put some on top like this. I don't know. Put down on the comments if I'm messing in this up. But I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it'll be good. All right, you guys, it's the next day. I'm gonna get those fillets out of the fridge and lay them out for you. Uh, then we'll put them in the smoker and see how they taste. Stay tuned. <laughs> to try this we're about to try this out and see how it tastes we got a little fillet out but let's see oh my god that is so delicious you guys have to try this mmm I wish you guys could taste kokanee salmon baby mm -hmm. 